when we announced the Zango sponsorship deal, we were down there in the convention center in downtown Salt Lake, and I had been traded that day. Uh, <laughs> Andy remembers I had gotten traded to Toronto that day, so I was officially a member of Toronto for 30 minutes uh, on that day. But, that's true. That's true. It was over. I was back part of Salt Lake. I do want to thank Zango. Uh, for me, I want to thank him for, for three major, major reasons. I'm, I'll try to do this chronologically. First and foremost, we need to thank Zango for bringing, uh, helping to bring clubs like Real Madrid, Club America, Everton, uh, and these types of, uh, of international powerhouses to Salt Lake for us to play. What they present for, for the team here in Salt Lake and for players individually and collectively as a group uh, is an opportunity to show everybody how good we are. Uh, we say it time and time again that our league is, is, is made up of quality players and of quality teams. Uh, but when, only when you play international teams are you afforded an opportunity to really prove it, sort of put your money where your mouth is. And I think that we'll expect the same thing Saturday night. We've had pretty good outings in, in, in our previous Zango Cups, with the first one being Real Madrid. I was on the field for the first half, and I say I think we were the better team for 45 minutes. Uh, I ended up losing the game, but it was, I think we showed very well for ourselves. And as we all know, last year, was it last year at Everton or two years before, where we beat Everton? Uh, so we, we stand up for ourselves pretty well, and we'll expect the same thing Saturday night. The second thing in chronological order we need to thank Zango for, and it's often overlooked, uh, is that they've helped us help to provide us a training field down in Lehigh. Uh, and without that, I'm not quite sure where we would train, because I know we're not allowed to train the stadium often enough. Get my digs in every time I can about that. Um, but it is, a, it is a place for us to, to be and a place for us to call home, and we appreciate that as well. Uh, and the third thing is the, the, the Jersey sponsorship. Uh, and for me, it's, I think it's an incredible thing to, be, to, to have been, I think was the first professional uh, sports franchise to have a Jersey sponsorship in the United States that came from Zanga. Uh, and, and for me, sponsorships and endorsees, of this league are paying our salaries, both as players and coaches and management and everybody else, and we need to be thankful for that every chance we get. So thank you on all three accounts. Um, the first half of the season, uh, I think when you get to the half of the season, you you start, you start stop talking so much about generalities and kind of how you feel the team is playing, and you have to start talking about results and stats and points. Uh, and, and the point is, we can't hide it any longer, we're not in the playoffs. Uh, as of right now, if the season were to end right now, we would not be in the playoffs, and that is clearly not good enough. Our team recognizes it, our players recognize it, take accountability for it, our staff does as well, uh, and we also believe as part of that, that we can be good enough, and that we will be good enough for the second half of the season. And what that's gonna take is it's gonna take a little bit more attention to detail, and like all of the details, uh, both how we finish in front of goal, both how we uh, defend in front of our own goal, how we are uh, disciplined as a unit with referees. We've, we've suffered some very, very uh, poor decisions uh, by players that have hurt the team. Uh, but collectively, we hold our hands up and say it hasn't been good enough, uh, but we also believe that it will get better uh, and that we will improve over the second half of the season. And we pick up those small details. We take pay attention to those small details. We'll pick up the necessary points that we dropped over the first half of the season, and that will put us in good stead and will put us in the playoffs to challenge for what we think will be another championship contending season for Real Salt Lake. So thank you all for your continued support and belief in us uh, because we believe in each other and we think in the end that will be good enough. Thank you.